On this episode, a good friend is in town and is requesting for some fresh fish for a get together. We don't disappoint with freshly caught Olua beer battered fish tacos. So please come and join us. What a beautiful day it is. We're out early doing our small part in cleaning this celebrated coastline. A coastline that is popular for its generational fishing grounds. Where the ocean's deep blue water is close to shore. And where you can hear humpback whales singing to each other. We're picking up face masks, cigarette butts, various plastics, and unfortunately, what I'm really after is discarded fishing line. Not only does discarded fishing line negatively impact sea life, but it also harms terrestrial animals as well. Like this poor pigeon with discarded fishing line wrapped around its foot. It's uncomfortable and it struggles to free itself. In the past, I caught pigeons with fishing line that is so tightly wrapped around their feet that it cuts off circulation. This pigeon knew we were here to help and became relaxed and allowed me to cut the old fishing line off its foot. Free from its entanglement, the pigeon flew away and was thankful. Unfortunately, I am unable to catch this pigeon today. I'll come back at a later time this week and try it again. And we're back picking up more trash and fishing line. Then I hear my phone ring. It's my good friend Nate. He explains he's back in town for a short while and would love to have a get together with fresh fish on the menu. The get together is planned for the next day's dinner. Now I have to decide on what to cook and what to catch. As I'm cleaning up Taco Bell litter, I have an idea of making tacos for dinner. Yes, fish tacos. I'll come back later this evening and try to catch a fish for the next day's get together. Let's grab a few more things and head out. It's lunchtime and I'm hungry. Not bad, we have a bag of trash and five soda cans. This bag of trash was properly removed from the coastline and won't harm any animals. Pigeons be following me everywhere I go now. On the way home, we stop at the city's recycling center. We recycle what we can and dispose of the rest of the trash and cash in those five soda cans for a quarter. We're back home and I'm hungry. I have frozen Hallelu or baby big eye scad that was caught a month ago. Cleaned and defrosted, they're pat dried and fried until crispy. Served on steamed brown rice, accompanied with a grilled teriyaki tofu square, the halalu is dipped in a spice vinegar that cuts through the richness of this fish. And this lunch was purely delicious. Let's get ready to go back out and go fishing. Here we are again, later this evening, trying our luck on catching tomorrow's get together dinner. We decided on making fish tacos, all we have to do is catch the fish. The fishing line is casted out into the deep. We'll wait for nightfall when the ocean's predators come out. Tonight's beta choice is fresh octopus. A master at camouflage, the octopus has the ability to rapidly change color and skin texture. Being opportunistic feeders, octopus eat small fish, crustaceans, and other mollusks. Sucking in water and forcing it out through its siphon, the octopus is able to swim by jet propulsion. This one swims away but is later caught. We'll use this one for bait. Consider the most intelligent invertebrate, octopuses have complex brains. A second octopus is caught, but we already have enough bait. The octopus is admired and set free. This octopus shows off its defense mechanism to escape from prey, an awesome cloud of ink. Wow, look at him go. The sun has set and darkness is among us. Freshly caught octopus will continue to change color, which makes for great fishing bait. We don't have to wait long until the fish are hungry. The bell on the pole rings and the reel sings. Wow, look at that fish. We're so blessed to catch this beautiful ulua, also known as giant trevally. This fish is perfect for our fish taco get together dinner tomorrow. Now I'm gonna pack up, go home and go to bed and then get ready to cook and eat. You're gonna wanna see what happens next. And here we are, it's the next day. We're at our good friend Nate's house, cleaning this beautiful ulua that we caught the night before. The plan now is to finish cleaning this ulua, fillet it off the bone, and make some delicious beer battered fish tacos. This is Nate's daughter, Morgan. And this is Morgan's first time seeing a mighty ulua. Look at that shocked expression on her face. Little does she know, her father Nate and I have been chasing ulua since we were in diapers. Now that's a nice piece of meat. Ulua meat is firm and pinkish white, mild tasting and delicious. 
I am often asked, what is my personal favorite way to eat ulua? And my absolute favorite way to eat it is right off the bone, with a little bit of soy sauce and wasabi. It literally does not get any better than this, folks. That's Nate in the hat and his younger brother, Zach. These Hawaiian brothers love their fresh fish. And soon their kids will be harvesting the ocean's bounty alongside them. All right, and now for the beer battered fish tacos. We're using a local beer brewed on Maui. A lager style or pale ale is great for this. Make sure the beer is ice cold. In a large bowl, add three cups of all-purpose flour, one egg, and a tablespoon of baking powder. Salt and pepper to taste. Now slowly mix the beer into the ingredients. Adding enough beer to make a pancake batter-like consistency. Caution, do not overmix. We want to retain as much carbonation as possible, so the fried fish will be light and airy. Add a generous amount of oil to a wok. Wow, that fish is gorgeous. The oil is at 375 and we're ready to fry. First coat the fish in seasoned all-purpose flour and dredge it in the beer batter. Applying the coat of flour will help the batter stick to the fish. Can you guys hear that great crackling of the oil? Yes. Uh... And repeat the process. Careful not to crowd the pan, it will drop the temperature. Remember we used ice cold beer for the beer batter? That's because the shock of the cold batter hitting the hot oil makes the coating super crispy. And this is what you're looking for, golden brown goodness. You know the cooks gotta taste as they go. Ho oh, and it's good. <laughs> In the house, everybody is prepping for dinner. A perfect side for the fish tacos is fried tortilla chips. A tangy, vinegar-based coleslaw is mixed by hand. Recipe in description below. Wow, you guys, look at this fish. And what do people in the house think? You already know, they love it. The fresh ulua is sweet and flaky, and frying it in that batter made it light and crunchy. Everyone is enjoying a little appetizers. It's almost time to eat. But first, let us pray and give thanks. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this um, awesome meal that everyone pitched in to prepare for dinner tonight. Just thank you for uh, Auntie Lei and the Bataras for hosting us here in their home always. And just, we just love it here to hang out and spend time with each other. Um, bless the food, bless the people here, and um, let's just have a good time. Thank you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, everybody, dig in. Everything is looking so good. And for the freshly caught Ulua beer battered tacos, it's served on a warm flour tortilla, topped with sour cream, a tangy coleslaw, creamy avocado, and a squeeze of lime. I can't even begin to tell you how amazing this tastes right now. And it's even better surrounded by friends and family. Thanks for joining us, gang, and we'll see you next time.